Hey guys, during the holidays, I did some testing with Eternals because a lot of you guys were saying the boss didn't work and that my methods didn't work. Well, before we get into the video, I just want to tell you guys that you can get terminated for this. So I, so I recommend that you, one, back up your server right now or test it on a different server. Two, after you're done this and you're playing, back it up again. And three, do this at your own risk because I don't want that comment saying, Oh, now my Hulk delete constantly because of you. Well, no, it's not because of me. It's because you followed my tutorial. Let's get into the first method, which is the bots. Now, I use the same bot that's on my website. Yeah, best bot. Woohoo. And I did these steps. You can follow them on the screen. They're going by really fast because I'm not trying to waste your time. It was pretty simple. Actually, it got even simpler. All you have to do is put in your IP port and run it. I don't know man, these things just keep getting easier. And guess what, it works guys, it works. And after about 30 minutes I was eating, you know, with my family, cause you know, I actually care about my family. I ate with them and I went back on and I expected the bot to be kicked but nope. You know what this bot does? It makes the bot run around and it was pretty much like falling off cliffs and everything so you can't really say it was a bot. If you want, you can make the pattern more complex by adding like left, right stuff to this line. But other than that, it works. And for monitoring, if you want to use a monitoring site, go ahead, do it. But I honestly don't see the reason why people use it. If someone in the comments with a big brain can explain, well, I know an uptime, uptime, work time, whatever. That is the one I used to use, but now I don't use it because look, it's literally working by itself. And the second method, well, it's very simple. All you need to do is have a friend whose computer electrics, electricity bills like aren't existent because they have unlimited electricity or whatever. Just have them stay in the AFK pool. After about 20 minutes, I came back and it's still on. Well, at least for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. I'm pretty sure that the bot and this method can go far away. Now to answer some common questions like, why isn't it working? Watch the tutorial again. And what about for Bedrock? Well, I know exactly what you need for Bedrock. Add Geyser. Here I am going on to Minecraft Bedrock Edition and I joined my server. Wow. Now all I have to do is apply the same knowledge that I just learned either a bot or an AFK pool. And boom, Alakazam, it's Bedrock now, guys. And my last most common question is why doesn't script work well i learned that script was actually patched maybe like a month ago or two months ago so it stopped working so instead of calling me a fake how about you consider that things get patched over time and instead of shifting the blame to me blame eternals for finding out and patching it guys there you have it two methods well actually five because i gave you like four bot links and then the AFK pool, very easy. Oh, and did I mention that there is a much better way than 24 seven guys. Instead, share the access with a couple of your most active members. Maybe you have one for EST, PST, AST, Alien ST, everything ST bro. Just give like 10 members, your most active members, the ability to start the server. They cannot edit the server. They can only go on Eternals and start it themselves. Therefore, you guys are not having to worry about 24 seven. <laughs> Instead, you have people who are online multiple, like a lot, a lot of the time. And as they like get bored, you can switch out the people. So there you go. Leave a like guys. I did a couple of days of research for this and I'll see you in the next one. Also watch this video on the dark side of the Minecraft community guys. You guys will love this video, I promise you.